G'day viewers, my name's Graham Stevenson and I'd like to invite you to come on a journey of creativity and learning and adventure through the series Colour in Your Life. There's an artist in every family throughout the world and lots of times there's an artist deep down inside all of us as well. So grab your kids, your brothers, your sisters, your aunties, uncles and mums and dads and come and see how some of the best artists in Australia do what they do. Well, hi viewers, welcome back to Colour in Your Life. Well, we're at Hampton's Art Supplies today in Melbourne with the extraordinarily talented <laughs> Judy Waters. Judy, Thank you, Graham. <laughs> thanks for being thanks on this for show. Coming. It's going to be a fantastic day, something really different because Judy actually uses epoxy resins to create her artwork and it's really fantastic stuff. It's like so interesting and you get all the boards designed for yourself. This is such a cool little art store. You've got so much stuff in here. Thank you. We and love it. All the stuff that you need, you basically have in this store. Absolutely. And the stu studio is right, virtually right beside where you are yep. as well. It's fabulous. It's we just fantastic. love it. So how long have you been doing the, uh, the, uh, the epoxy work? About 15 years. Okay. And been teaching probably about the last five. Yeah. That's love it. Oh, I just, I think it's amazing. And it's growing. So hugely. You sort of, uh, th there's a whole bunch yeah. of things you've got to do with this stuff as well, isn't there? Yeah, there is. You've, you've got to have the right boards. You can't do it on canvas, especially if you're doing really large ones, which yeah. we do. And I've got a gentleman that makes our fabulous boards for us with rounded edges and, and it's great. Then you don't really have to have an art skill. Yeah. You just have to have a colour sense, which we can help you with as well. Okay. And then just have a go and pour colour onto your board and then see what it does. See how it's exciting and it just it merges and does the most amazing things. The texture of uh, these pieces is just, it's unreal, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's it really is. And if you want a night out, just, you know, just go out there and throw some colour down and it's wow. Obviously having your own art store and being a professional artist and workshop teacher, uh, you've really got everything in the one package, it's haven't you? It's just it? a dream life. Yeah, <laughs> it is. We meet the best people. I bet. And um, yeah, I don't want to go home. I'd have a bed out the back <laughs> oh, if I <dear>. could. <laughs> but we're going we're to go into the studio today because it's a it's a fairly sort of there's a lot of movement in the process, isn't there? Yep. Yeah. yeah there's it all there's quite a lot of things to do with yeah. the lay. If you're doing layering, that sort of thing. So yeah, it'll be good to come and see how one's done. It's fantastic. They're not so well, hard. Let's go down to the studio Thanks and let's make a start. Thanks very much, Graham. Look forward to showing you. Fantastic. Okay, Jude, now before we even start, these boards that you have here, I think they're fantastic. The surface on this, honestly guys, it's amazing. You have these especially made for Hamptons. We do, yes, they're especially made by a gentleman and uh, they're beautiful. They're fabulous for all mediums. Oh, the surface is great. But they're particularly fabulous for resins because yeah. they just flow over and then the side of the resin becomes part of the art as well. Oh, it's fantastic. So you can do it. It's, it's wonderful for all sorts of mediums. Oh, yeah. It's I mean, great. actually, I'm, I'm going to take some of these and paint on them. I think fantastic. Yeah, no, you'll love them. Now, you've got, it looks like a science slab at the moment. It does, so. but it, it's really quite simple. It's a two-part resin which I buy from um, Solid Solutions. I find they're the best company to deal with mm -hmm. and the best resin because it's a flexible resin. Yep. And it has, as you can see, almost no, no odour at all. Mm, it's great. So yeah. you can run a class and it's fabulous. So today I'm going, it, this is going to take probably three litres of mm -hmm. resin. And so I'm going to mix it up. I can keep these resins A and B, part A, part B. I can keep them separate for as long as I like. 
but once I combine them together, mm -hmm. I've got about 20 minutes working time, 20, okay. 25 minutes, depending on the heat of the day. Today's a fabulous day to be resining. Okay. So we're going to mix them. I'm going to pour a few out, mix them, make sure you only do it once. Part A, part B are separate. Yep and um, we'll get on with it, it's gonna be great. You're using golden inks to be able to- I am. To color what you're doing? Now what I do is I've also, I've got golden inks as well, but yeah. I use the pastes made from Solid Solutions. Yeah. Uh, they're gorgeous colors, absolutely gorgeous. And they give you a whole different effect than uh, some of the others. I use acrylic uh, colors from golden. I use any, any of the, um, Liquid acrylics are fine, any brand. Um, these are transparent dyes as well. Even so those, I mix, that's, that's metallic, is it? Yeah, it's metallic. Wow. I've also got powders that I'll be putting in as well. Yeah. So you're going to see a whole lot of things happening today. First thing you have to do is put gloves on. Oh, you, want me, my... you want me to be part of this, do you? Yes, and as soon as they get dirty, you just take them off, throw them out, because if you put Fuck. resin, it's filthy business, but it's very exciting. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I'm going to get them on my hands. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Try. Okay, oh, so I'm going to start pouring some oh, resin out because it's quite away. a procedure. And um, I will do this. I'm going to pour, see, as long as you get the measurements exact, it doesn't matter what your measurements are, but as long as they're exact. So I'm going to do 600 mils yeah. of each one. Okay. That one. So that was <coughs> part B. Okay. Part A is a lighter one. So you will know if you've got the wrong one in your hand. Now, the next important thing is once you've got part A and part B going, they have to be mixed. And so and what, what, how long do these things go before they start to go off? Those two separately could be for a week. Once but once them. they're mixed together, yep. I've probably got about 20 minutes depending on the temperature of the day. Okay. It's the most amazing way to put some artwork on the wall quickly. Yep. This will be ready to hang tomorrow. Wow. And you'll have a fabulous completed artwork. The most important part is to mix and to mix well. It's still a bit cloudy. You can't over mix it. You just keep mixing until it's clear, until all the little lines have gone. And then, whilst you're doing that, you can get your cups ready for the next part of it. Yeah. So you can see that that's quite clear, no strings. So we're gonna pour that into here. Ooh. If you'd like to pour that into cups, you could. Oh, sure, if you'd sure. like. I'm thinking today I'll do a flower. I don't usually do florals, but the first one I'll do is a flower and I'm gonna do some yellow. So mix them and you don't have to mix it thoroughly. You can have lovely, like, marbling effect if you like. But I'm going to have fairly solid colour there. So I've got some yellow. Okay. I'm going to have some magenta. It's like a cooking show, really. It is isn't like it? a cooking show. <laughs> it's good to have a buddy to work with. It's great to have somebody else to help you, if you especially if you're doing a big board. It's great to have somebody else mixing so that you can flow the colour out and you're not wasting time because you don't have a lot of curing time. Isn't that a gorgeous colour? Mm. And do you, do, you, do you mix it really thoroughly in or? No, I don't have don't? to. This one is a transparent colour. It's quite soft. So that's two of my colours mixed. I'm going to do a white. It's, there's no odour at all. This one's great, isn't it? It's incredible, yeah. So it's, what, I've got those there ready to go. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to pour another lot of resin and Graham's going to stir it. A professional mixer. Well, I've actually heard from my friends beforehand that I was a real stirrer. I don't know about a oh, mixer. Oh, that's exactly what you'll be, <laughs> a stirrer. This is great. It's really, really hands-on. Um, and you sort of really don't know where this is going to take you either, do you? No. That's the best part about it. It's fascinating. You can have the best intentions as you like to do a resin painting, but it still rules the roost. And Ew. Wow, it's just... Colours are dynamic, aren't they? Pretty cool. Visual explosion. <laughs> this is what's so exciting. It's a visual explosion. Oh, it's fantastic. Now, as you can see, we run out of colour very quickly. So I'm going to pour some more colours in. Mm -hmm. 
and clear is also fabulous to put into the mix. Now, I'm just going to take these off here for the moment. Yeah. And work my board around. Oh, so you're actually going to you're going to manipulate the board. Yep. I'm going to move that round. Wow. God, it's just like it's like crab nebulas in the galaxies, isn't it? Nebulas. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> this is the exciting part. Because you sort of really don't know where it's taking you. I'm going to mix some more colour. A little bit of magenta. And I've got a bit of white here. Yeah. Now if I pour the white over the existing colour, it's going to lace. What do you mean by lace? You give gorgeous little holes will appear. All right. And it's, it's quite yummy. You'll see that develop, the yeah. holes will appear. You really need a board because if you had a canvas, everything could... Everything dips into the centre. Pull in the middle, yeah. And it's, it has to be a level field, yeah. definitely. That's fantastic. It's like the stem of a flower. Now this one, I'm going to put a little bit of bronze in. Yes. Would you like to stir that for me, Graham, please? Oh, that absolutely. would be fabulous. Thank it's you. It's very Moorish, isn't it? Beautiful colours. I love the crisp, clear colours. Now, do you really mix it in or do you... No, yeah, you, you can. Do? That yeah. should be fine. Good. Just like that? Yep. Okay. Now I'm going to put a deeper quinacridone violet. Yes. Gorgeous colour. Bit of it's that always in. one of those violets that's hard to say. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you name it that? It's going to give me a little bit of depth. It might look like I'm just throwing paint on the board, but I do want a balanced painting at the end of it. It's so rich. I'm not sure if you can see it on the screen, but the colours are so rich and vibrant. But I mean, the amazing part about this is it just doesn't stay the same, does it? It continues to morph. It moves for the next probably four to five hours. Okay. And so you may get it to a stage where you think, my God, that's fabulous. But unfortunately, it's not going to stay It like just keeps that. going. It yeah. just keeps moving. You want it to stop, but it so won't. So <laughs> you've got to take it to the stage where you hope it's moving in the right direction. I don't want to lose that part, so I manipulate my board okay. to do that. So I'm going to bring my Whoa. hand into here. Hands are going in now, are they? Yes. Give us a little bit of movement there and a little bit of movement through here. You can see that it's almost three-dimensional when you look at it from here too, because there's a layering effect on it. It's quite lovely. So, I'm now going to mix myself up another brew. Yeah. Okay, Graham, I hate throwing out colour. So if you've got any colours you don't think you're going to use, mm -hmm. pop them into little silicon moulds. I've got six grandchildren. Yeah. They love them. So if you'd like, you can pour those into the moulds. Oh, I'm getting all the best jobs yeah. today. <laughs> That would be good. Whilst I mix up some resin. And you could probably use these as a three-dimensional thing in, in your work as well, if you yes. wanted to. That's you really can. cool. I'm liking this a lot. They recommend that you only use 6% colour to your resin so it doesn't alter the um, validity of the resin. I do have people ringing me and saying, why didn't it set? and it's usually because they've used too much colour. This has been on, how long have we been on? About 20 minutes, 25 minutes? Yeah. It's starting to cure a little bit. So this is quite solid now. Well, it's getting more solid, I should say, than this. So I can, at various stages in the painting, I can adjust the resin mm -hmm. because I know there's going to be various parts of it which will be more solid than my new fresh resin. So this is starting to pull off here now. I will go around all the edges and collect that. But it's a good time to start adding my white edges because I can cut in, because this isn't going to move forever. So I'm going to cut in my edges to get outline my flower. These are also fantastic workshops as well. Julie, I mean, you obviously have a, a strong following. I love the workshops. This. I love to show people this art because it just, people say, oh, I can't do it because I'm not artistic or I've never done art before. Anyone can do a resin, as long as you have somebody directing you and somebody to help you with your colours because mm -hmm. abstract art is about colour and, and shape and you just need someone balance and all of that sort of thing. Okay. So if somebody wanted to do this, they can 
just go to your website. Yeah, they can. What's, what's the Hamptons Art website? Hampton Art Supply. I mean, this is just fantastic if you want to put some paintings in your own home. I mean, these are really decor pieces. And you work, you work really closely with uh, Kate Matheson as well from uh, Blank Canvas Studios. Kate runs Blank Canvas Studios and has for a couple of years. Yeah. And uh, we run workshops through Kate as well. Yeah. She's got children's classes as well as um, we have workshops there. The mosaic artists are desperate for our resin offcuts. Yes, I bet. And, um, and they just dry and you just pick them off and they just you just peel them off the plastic and you can use them in your artwork yeah that's fantastic they're fabulous i'm getting more and more inspired all the time oh see i like that oh look at that that's fantastic makes it look like a sort of like a, a tulip now you actually work with solid solutions we do well, yeah i mean they're it's uh it's Pe peter and lorraine burns is yes, that correct they do they own the company they own Solid Solutions and they're both artists. But it's a fantastic product, isn't it? It's great. It's beautiful. And as I say, it's so beautiful to work with. When I run the torch over it, it's going to look different again. All these little bubbles will start bursting and it'll start lacing more. But those bubbles just pop out straight away, They'll don't they? They'll just pop out, yeah. You can just buy these from Bunnings or something, you can, can you? You can buy these from Bunnings. Yeah. Okay. Now I think this needs a bit of excitement. So, how about we do a bit of iridescent powder? Oh, we've got powders in there? Yep, got some pigment paste. Yeah. Some pigment powder, I should say. Yeah. So we're going to put just, you only need a small amount, say that much, yeah. in that. Oh, look, look at that. What that does. It's pretty cool. That's amazing. So we're going to run that along our base of our flower of sauce. Look. Whoops, it didn't go. There you go. God, it's just so powerful, isn't it? You and can see all the flecks. Yeah, I like that. It's fantabulous. So now I'm going to fire it. Yeah. And... You get all the fun jobs. I think. Would you like to fire it? Yes, I would. All right, you can fire it. So what do you do? You just turn this around? Here. Okay, yeah. off you go. <laughs> Oh, and all the bubbles start to pop out. Oh, yes. but it actually makes the, it makes it makes the, the, it the, makes the metal explode pigments, as well. Yes, doesn't it? dynamic. Yeah, that's amazing. God, look at it. Just explodes everywhere. That's fantastic. This is what you call hands on workshop. I'll let you do the rest. There you go. Thank you. Handing over, taking Thank over. Thank you very much, Graham. Oh, I love this, is fantastic. Look at that in there. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. Just going to break up these lines. Don't like anything to look too deliberate. We're going to let this rest for a couple of hours. Okay. And But we have to be watchful that it doesn't put, tip in the wrong direction. Okay. I don't want to lose too much of, say, the base, or I don't want to lose too much of an edge. I just want to keep it fairly central. Okay. So um, you can leave it, let it rest, and then have a cup of coffee and then come back and just keep watching it. Sounds okay? fantastic, all right. Good on you. Thank you. All right, now for the second part of our show today, you're gonna to show us how to double layer this. Yes, we are. This is something I prepared earlier. Um, it's only been down for about four hours, so it's a little bit tacky, but it's still fine to put another layer on. Why we're doing this is the previous resin's still curing, and that has to be flat for maybe a good, another good uh, uh, nine hours or so, depending on the temperature. But that'll be ready to put on your wall tomorrow. But this little guy is going to have another layer and you can see how it flows on quite separately, differently the next time round. This is a seascape that you're doing for this a gallery? This is a seascape for yeah. a gallery, yep. yes. So, seeing I love my nautical themes, I'm just gonna put a little bit of color in. Now, the transparent dyes are really intense, so they only need a touch, literally a drop of really? color. That's, that's it. That's it. So oh, isn't it strong? Yeah. It's quite strong. Yeah. I want a little bit of turquoise as well. 
into That's the same also, into the same yes. mixture. There you are. Would you like to mix that for me, please? Mm, yes. I mean, have I got to mix it a lot, or yes, just whatever. Okay. This is the most hands-on I've ever been in and one of our shows yet. This is a resin paste, so I'm going to mix that as well to get a different blue. Now, because this is tacky, it's right at the tacky stage. Generally, it's got to be dry. Quite dry. Okay. But it's okay to use it at this stage. Uh huh. I want to get the drift of the sea. Mm -hmm. And I still want a lot of my underneath to show through. So you'll see this will move beautifully. It's like the waves coming in. That looks great, doesn't it? Goodness. And it will come up here and give me some Just a line. gorgeous things happening. Just going to put in some green and there's this sort of like streak effect starting to come out here for some reason. Okay, so I'm just going to get a fire this off and now this white should all lace. Actually looks like a crashing wave, doesn't it? <laughs> Love this mm. little bit that's happening here. Could you turn that off for me, please, Chrome? Oh. Okay. That's pretty much all I'll do to that. Mm, looks amazing. It's like a wave um, crashing on the shore. It's amazing. Well, how about that, guys? That was pretty amazing today, and I just I think, think it was just so thrilling to see you work. It's Thank you. No, I hope you had some fun. Judy, it was really, <laughs> really amazing. I converted you. But you've got everything really put together. You've got your workshops, you've got your studio, you've got your art store. Now, the website for the art store is hamptonartsupplies.com.au. Don't forget that. And also, you wanted to thank uh, Peter and Lorraine Burns. Yes, for supplying us with the Solid Solutions resin for today, which is all we use. That stuff's fantastic, isn't it? It's really cool. Oh, Very it's addictive. It's very good. It's amazing the effects you can get. It really is just quite extraordinary. But, um, and also come to colourinyourlife.com.au. Some fantastic things going on there as well. And I definitely want some of your work in our website because I think it's amazing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, I've had a ball. It was a lot of fun. It's it been really great. was. Um, and workshops as well. I mean, really come along and get in touch with you because this is a lot of fun. I mean, it's a little sticky. Very dirty. Admittedly, yeah. But we try and keep clean. But the fact is that you can come out with a really fantastic result. In an afternoon, yeah. and we do lots of ladies' birthdays, yeah. things like that. If okay. they want to get together, four or five, six ladies come together, or gentlemen, and uh, they can do a gorgeous piece. They can do a piece for a wedding present, yeah, or something like that. It's cool. It's fantastic. It really is. But uh, we're going to head off again, guys. Uh, it's been a great day, as I always say. Remember, make sure you put some colour in your life. Or some, or some epoxy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll see you again, guys. Thanks, Thanks very Bye much. Now. That's Bye. fabulous. Thank you.